Hi, this is Max for Drums Bonedo. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at four new Dragonfly percussion bass drum beaters, all handmade in New York. I will play all models with a 20 inch bass drum in medium tuning and an 18 inch bass drum with higher tuning. For comparison, I will also add in a standard Pearl quad core beater and a Vic Firth fleece beater. At the end of this video, I will tell you my thoughts about the beaters and if they are worth the pretty hefty price tag. Let's start with the Bob Softy. Here we have a soft but compact model made from layers of flannel and fleece. It's meant to be played with smaller kick drums, creating a soft attack while providing more control than those really big white woolly beaters we all know. Next up is the XL Flanel. As the name implies, this one is substantially bigger than the other models. It has four layers of fleece sandwiched between 32 layers of flannel. This is made for boomy sounds with a very soft attack. Then we have a specialty, the two-tone model, made using alternating layers of hard vegan leather and soft fleece. According to Dragonfly, this hybrid beater is designed to sound soft when playing quietly and punchy when playing loud. And last but not least, we have the suede. Constructed of 18 layers of suede leather, this model is meant to sound softer than leather or plastic beaters, but with a good punch and a lot of low end.
So here comes my conclusion. All four Dragonfly Betas are really high quality tools, especially for studio drummers who want to find that perfect blend between attack and tone. But they are not cheap. But are they worth it? I think so. I personally use three of Dragonfly's other Betas for two years now with no signs of visible wear and great tonal results every time I use them. So that's it for now. If you liked the video, hit the thumb up and the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.